asked me about a hiding place. Now, we know this will only add to your worries, so the final decision rests with you. It's just as dangerous for seven as it is for eight. So we're agreed. From what we can tell, Mr. Pfeffer is quite congenial. For a dentist, anyway. That's all I had better write for now. I'm sure we'll see each other again, Jacqueline. But probably not before the war's over. Until then, a little kiss from your best friend, Anne. Cigarettes, if you don't mind me. And some peppermint tea. I've been having the most frightful dizzy spells lately. Things are harder and harder to come by. Whatever you can do will be fine for all of us. So, me, what's the news? Have you seen Jackie? I have a letter for her, but Daddy won't let me give it to you. When I finish with the shopping, we'll have our talk. And what of our friend, Mr. Pfeffer? He can't come tomorrow. He has patience. <laughs> <laughs> the idea. What on earth? Tomorrow is Friday. Tell Mr. Pfeffer we will expect him Monday. That'll give him time to settle his affairs, but not a day later. I'll see to it. Meep, you remember one of our salesmen, Mr. Winter? May I take your coat? Our sales in Everson. Oh, what? Bad. Mm -hmm. Everson, very bad. I hear the reports. Bring noir. 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 Ruh, ruh. Black. Oh, Mr. Pfeffer. Mr. Pfeffer. What? You are... You are in Switzerland. No, no, that was only a story. Hello, Mr. Pfeffer. Mrs. Frank. Well, Pfeffer. Well, here oh. it is, Mr. Pfeffer. Don't worry. It's only like this when the workers downstairs are out to lunch. For the rest of the day, it's quiet. You'll have to learn the rules, of course. There are scads of rules. Mr. Pfeffer appreciates the value of discipline. Here, yeah, idleness is our enemy. Our motto, work and hope. <laughs> Listen to the Prussian officer. <laughs> Breakfast is at 9 a.m., except on Sundays and holidays when it's 11.30. Lunch is from 1.15 to 1.45. And then we expect visitors. Visitors? Our helpers, of course. Here. Thank you. Dinner after the nightly news broadcasts and lights out promptly at ten. Parlez-vous français, Monsieur Pfeffer? Oui, 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 je parle un peu. <laughs> Comment ça va, madame? What does that mean? My poor Charlotte. She thinks I've been spirited away to the country. Who would ever believe that I'm right here in the center of Amsterdam? <laughs> would you like some more vegetables, oh. Mr. Pfeffer? Thank, Thank you. <laughs> I think we're all very fortunate here. What a ridiculous thing to say. I don't think it's ridiculous at all. It's a wonder I don't cry all the time thinking about my friends. She's been taking her valerian drops. Be quiet. Putty. You're spoiling my digestion. Children know nothing of what goes on in the world. Here, here. Where's my pillow? What have you done with it this time? I ate it. How am I supposed to know where it is? You keep losing everything. Here. 